Welcome to Fishing the Midwest, where we take you to top fishing destinations close to home and show you some great ways to catch fish. Out here in North Dakota, which is different from some of the places we go in the Midwest, you can use four lines. So um, using rods and rod holders is advantageous because you can double your chances for success. It gives you opportunities to experiment with different kind of lure setups. We found the fish first and then we decided to put on some heavy bottom bumps to stay 45 degree angle. We took uh, plain hooks and beads and running leeches and half crawlers and then we used like a slow death presentation on a couple of them and like in North Dakota you can use multiple rods. So we had four different techniques going starting off. Not very big. You need a net? No, it's just a little guy. It's the right species though. Yep. Just a little guy. You know, on Lake Skakawe, we're like a chain of reservoirs. You know, Montana has Fort Peck, and South Dakota has Owyhee, and on Lake Skakawe here in West Central North Dakota, it, it the water levels change, um, and we really don't have a lot of effect on it. In the last few years, the water levels coming up, which is really good for our forage, which is smelt. And here on Lake Skakawe, the population of walleyes follows the smelt population. Yep. Well, I got one on this rod too. It might be on this end of the run, Mike. Oh, I might have my. Yeah, I just got my other line. Is that bad walleye? No. All right, Jason. That's a little better one than that first one. Yeah, look how healthy they are. They just sit and eat the smelt all day, all night. And this guy's ready to go back and get some more smelt. Well, Sakakawea is a fishery that's driven by water levels, um, like a lot of fisheries are. And uh, when the water comes up, there's a lot of spawning habitat that gets flooded. And, and that's kind of what's happened. And, and the smelt are here in big numbers. And so the fish have spawning habitat and they have a lot of food. So these fish grow up in a hurry. They grow fast. Probably in the big picture, Lake Sakakawea right now has probably never been better. Lake Sakakawea is all about water. And right now the water levels have been really good for the last close to a decade, so things are very promising, not just short term, but even actually long term. I can probably do this one here. Oh yeah. Not a giant, it's still. A little bit, we're getting them a little bit bigger at a time. Leech again? Yes, sir. Personally, myself, I, I, I prefer crawlers most of the time, and uh, but there is that window in July usually where leeches will produce some of the bigger fish. And out here, our leech season is pretty short. Once they start spawning, it's hard to find, and we're seeing that right now, actually. So um, we kind of ration them right away this morning. There we go. You're on the board? Not a very big one, but. Huh? Do you need a net? Nope. You're good? Little guy. The little guys are chunky. Short and chunky. The Mike Frisch of walleyes. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, I didn't. <laughs> Fishing the Midwest is presented by Evinroot, the outboards that are changing everything. Offshore Tackle, the leader in trolling technology. P-Line, because we fish. Otter Outdoors, tougher, stronger, smarter. K-Drill Ice Augers, drilling ice will never be the same. Distinctive cabinet design 
for all your commercial, residential, and retail fixture cabinetry needs. Vexilar, always innovating, never imitating. For nearly 60 years, Vexilar has been the innovator to help anglers catch more fish. The FLX sonar technology changed the flasher sonar world forever with the creation of the FLX 28. Now the FLX 12 features a brilliant display and easy to use two button control system. The FLX 20 is packed with features like zoom zones and a three color palette display. To learn more about FLX technology, visit vexilar.com. Sometimes you just gotta switch it up, move, change, switch presentations, switch species. Larson FX is your multi-species, multi-use platform with tiller and dual console models to accommodate the gear you need for all kinds of fish on all kinds of water. With room for your fishing arsenal and a full day of action, Larson FX is a switch it up machine, ready for anything and everything, including the kids. Larson FX, ready for whatever you are. Visit your local Larson FX dealer or head to LarsonFXSeries.com for more information. Hannay's Marine is the largest Larson FX dealer in the world and has a huge selection of boats and accessories priced to fit any budget. Our knowledgeable and experienced experts will help you select from top fishing boat manufacturers, including Larson, G3, and Yarcraft, and pontoons from Suncatcher and Larson Escape. Now's the time to take advantage of manufacturer rebates of over $1,000 on select models and great financing rates. Your boat, your treasure, our business. Hannay's Marine, keeping you on the water. Distinctive Cabinet Design manufactures commercial millwork, retail fixtures, and residential cabinetry. Serving the homeowner on up through the general contractor, there's no job too small or too large. Whether it's custom kitchens for the homeowner or retail fixtures for hospitals, hotels, casinos, banks, and more, Distinctive Cabinet Design can do the job for you. Visit their website to learn more. Distinctive Cabinet Design, serving Minnesota and the entire country since 1999. That's a nicer fish, Jason. Look at yeah. That. There you go. Oh yeah. A little better. There, yep. Everyone's getting a little bit yep. bigger. We keep working our way up here. You know what? Fat though. We Look did. At there. Wow. We did talk about a fish Friday night. Yeah, I think so. I okay. Think that's a good plan. Took a lot of convincing. Jason, was that the leech again? Yeah, Mike. That was on a leech and just a plain hook again. I got a glow bead in front of it. We're running two different. Uh, presentations here and it seems like the single hook and leech is working the best but I think we should keep this one and have a little supper tonight. Well the butterfly rig is kind of a hybrid spinner in that it's a little bit different shape of blade and it's kind of designed to um, do a couple things. That whole rig when you get up going at maybe a mile an hour in addition to the blade spinning the whole rig tends to shake but at slower speeds, say five tenths of a mile an hour, that blade will spin by itself for attraction as well. I'll sneak. You want a net? We might need a net. Yeah, now he feels little again, but when he when he first hit it, he hit it good. Yeah. A little cookie cutter. Well, we're having a fish fry though, right? I heard. Yep. He will stink the pan. You know, I've had a lot of a lot of friends and family come out and fishing this year because the fishery is so good. And we and we tell them, let's let's make sure you have plenty for a fish fry, you know. And that's what we did today. We had a couple right off the bat that were perfect eating size, that 16, 17 inch, and like I said, healthy. We're not hurting the population by keeping our limit. So Jason, when we talked on the phone not that long ago, ah, oh, look at the belly. You told me that. This is really a healthy fishery right now, isn't it? Yeah, uh, the game and fish have been talking how strong the fish population is. It's probably the highest on record since the 70s. 
and the forage population, the smelt of, I mean, you look on the graph, they're everywhere. And they're getting to be a little bit better quality. Um, we're on a little smaller batch right now, but I know before too long, we'll be into some 20 inch fish. So you kind of have the perfect storm going on out here right now. A lot of fish, a lot of bait, a lot of good fishing. Yeah, it's a, it's a good problem to have. Um, the, the fishermen numbers too, the tourist numbers are great. Words out, the boat ramps are full. And anytime you're dealing with smelt as a primary forage base, the smelt move. And so the walleyes move with them. So a great spot today might not be a great spot tomorrow. So you have to stay on the move, find a bait fish, find the smelt, you're gonna find a walleyes. Look at the screen there, that's, that's why the walleyes are the way they are, that's smelt. One of the things about today's electronics, you know, we're using the Ray Marine units, outstanding ability to show bottom, different kinds of bottom, to show you bait fish, and of course to show you walleyes. And like I said, anytime you're fishing a reservoir where the fish, the bait fish are nomadic, you gotta stay on the move and rely on your electronics. You need a net man? Do you wanna? Sure. Sure. It makes you feel needed. It makes me feel, yeah, like I'm contributing and somehow. There's a walleye, Jason. There you go. There we go. We're working our way up a little bit. Yep. And Oops, I'm sorry. getting my butt kicked. Man. That's all right. But that one, come on. Another plain hook. Plain hook. Yep, and leech. I'm going to need that pliers that's down by your chair, if you could, please. That'll work, thank you. This is perfect size for eating. There you go. Again, about the same as last. Is he? Yeah, I'll get him. There's less smelt down here as the further down we get, but more walleyes the way it looks on the depth finder screen. Yeah, they're chasing. They're chasing the smelt around and they're just on the edges of it. Like I said, it's not very big, but they're up here eating. These fish have a little lighter tinge of color to them here, don't they, Jason? Yeah, they get a little bit lighter, and I think it's, you know, their habitat. You know, if they're in the deep reservoir, um, deeper water, they're gonna be a little bit lighter. They get up uh, in the river here. A lot of times those fish are a lot darker. Stay tuned for more spinners and walleyes. Fishing the Midwest is made possible by Strike King. Tie one on. Vexilar, own the ice. Core Ice, built for life the way you live it. Beckman Nets, beautiful Cabotogama Lake, gateway to Voyagers National Park. The future of boating is here. Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evan Rudy E-Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best in class torque of the Evan Rudy Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. To learn more, visit EvanRude.com. P-Line, premium fishing lines for all fish species during all seasons. High performance copolymers built to handle a wide range of fishing situations. Fluorocarbon coated lines that are sensitive and invisible like a fluorocarbon yet with the manageability of mono. Super strong Teflon coated braids for ultra long casts and extreme sensitivity and premium fluorocarbons including the all new award winning Tactical. P-Line, a line for all fish species during all seasons. You know, guys, I hate to admit it, but before every tournament, I have to tie one on. And I really hate to admit this, but before the Bassmaster Classic, I really had to tie one on. And if you do what I did and tie one on from Strike King, maybe you'll get what I got, a classic hangover. Forget everything you know about sonar. Now there's an easier way to find fish. Real Vision 3D Sonar from Ray Marine eliminates the guesswork. And it's only available on Axiom, our new blazing fast navigation display. Explore the underwater world from every angle. Spend less time fishing and more time catching. 
Real Vision 3D from Ray Marine. Simply superior. Well, this one hit it hard, but I don't think he's a monster again. Oh, now he's got a little fight. We may need the net, Jason. Yeah. Well, they're getting. Oh, it's not bad. I haven't been able to quite break that 20 inch mark. No. I just switched to that purple blade. Boy, when they hit it, though. Mm hmm. Hammer time. You know, one of the things that's happened is, you know, we've locked in for so long for walleye fishing to some of the brighter colors, the chartreuse, the fluorescent orange. But one of the things that I've realized or come to um, get more in tune to is fishing some of the uh, more natural, um, I don't know if I want to say duller colors, but not as bright of colors. One of the things, a lot of places across the Midwest, the water clarity is improving and any time in clear water, uh, silver is a good color, uh, hammered gold will be a good color. The last couple of years I've caught a lot of fish on purple colored patterns, went to one of those today and immediately got bit. He's probably a what, 17 incher? Yeah, yep, 17. Yep. Fat though, man look at him. These guys could hang out with me, Jason, because they eat good. <laughs> that one, Jason, just kind of glommed on there. See, this one, <laughs> you know? This mine bit light. Yep, that's what this one did. Glommed. Glom. Did I make up a word? I'll use it in a sentence and that'll be <laughs> official. <laughs> You know, a lot of places, Jason. Is that a sauger? Yes. Isn't it? No, no, maybe not. Nope. A lot of places, Jason, where we fish, guys be net net fish on Sakakawea. Nah, we'll just swing these guys in. <laughs> yeah, you know, Mike, you were talking about how light it was. I thought that was a sauger when you first pulled it in, but no, it's just a real light colored walleye. Sakakawea uh, Garrison Indian Hills. Uh, this is the wild, wild west, at least to me. Um, I love coming out here. Of all the places we go, Indian Hills and Garrison rates right at the top. I love coming here because of the different scenery. And the other thing that's neat about this is uh, back in the late 80s, I actually came out here with my grandparents and my mom and dad. And that was one of the last fishing trips that I was able to go on with my grandpa. And he, he's kind of the one with my dad that got me started in this sport. North Country Maine's been part of the Garrison community since 2010 and very welcoming and we knew it was a perfect fit right away. Garrison is a very proactive community. They have uh, things all four seasons out of the year. Um, this spring we held a national walleye tournament. Um, there's many local tournaments every weekend for the fishing, but there's a lot of family, uh, a lot of boat ramps, state parks, um, kite festivals. Uh, this is the last year of the Candice, which is a large uh, bike race tour across Western North Dakota. Garrison is very community oriented. This is a, uh, this fish has a little weight. Something's going on here. I thought it was bigger than that, but. It's okay. Man, man, look at the belly on this guy. Not Jason. Look at him. I mean, I hear that about myself all the time, but. Whew. Welcome to Lake Sakakawea. Yeah, this is a typical day on Sakakawea. Just keep baiting the water. You know, Jason, ooh, this one is going to be part of the dinner. Okay. The other thing that's cool about this, most places across the Midwest, it's the end of July, beginning of August, what is it, August 1st today? Yes. Most places across the Midwest right now, it's not walleye time anymore. Yeah, I mean, we, we get it going all year long from ice out to ice up, and we get a little low maybe in August, but you'd move around the lake and you can catch your fish and find your fish. What do we got, Jason? A little better fish. All right. My luck, it wrapped around a stick. No. <laughs> Probably northern. I was going to say, is this. Uh... <laughs> I see nothing until I see the whites of its eyes. 
it's a better fish, whatever it is. It is. We'll probably throw a net at it, knock oh, it off. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think it might even be the right I species, think it's Michael. The right species, when it looked to me. Oh, yeah. I'll try not to mess this up. I might mess it up for you. <laughs> That's our teamwork. Yep. We might be the Minnesota Vikings. Ooh, did I just say that? Nice, Jason. Remember I was telling you I haven't had a throwback in a few weeks? Yeah, you just told me this morning I haven't had a throwback in several weeks. Well, there's no question this yeah, one's going that's back. That's a throwback. That's a nice fish. Good job, Jason. Thank you. Thank you. Look at the shoulders on that. Yeah. That is a beautiful Lakes Cockwheel walleye. Wow, that is a beautiful fish. Fat. Wow. I'm going to put them back, make sure. Comes back. Oh, yeah. Stay tuned for more spinners and walleyes. Fishing the Midwest is presented by Northland Fishing Tackle, made by fishermen for fishermen. Hanay's Marine. There are 10,000 lakes in Minnesota, but only one Hanay's Marine. Ray Marine Marine Electronics. Ray Marine, simply superior. Larson FX, the multi species, multi use boat that's ready for whatever you are. Big Stone Lake Tourism the Midwest's new winter hotspot. Sometimes you just gotta switch it up. Move, change, switch presentations, switch species. Larson FX is your multi-species, multi-use platform with tiller and dual console models to accommodate the gear you need for all kinds of fish on all kinds of water. With room for your fishing arsenal and a full day of action, Larson FX is a switch it up machine, ready for anything and everything, including the kids. Larson FX, ready for whatever you are. Visit your local Larson FX dealer or head to LarsonFXSeries.com for more information. Lake Cabotogama in Voyagers National Park is your year-round destination for experiencing nature at its finest. Enjoy the solitude of the pristine wilderness while having all the comforts of home available at the many full-service resorts. The fishing is world-class. So are all the other outdoor activities that are abundant in all the seasons. Cab is the perfect place for your family or group of friends, and Cab is an easy drive from anywhere in the Midwest. Cabotogama Lake in northern Minnesota. Discover Cab now. Forget everything you know about sonar. Now there's an easier way to find fish. Real Vision 3D Sonar from Ray Marine eliminates the guesswork. And it's only available on Axiom, our new blazing fast navigation display. Explore the underwater world from every angle. Spend less time fishing and more time catching. Real Vision 3D from Ray Marine, simply superior. You know, guys, I hate to admit it, but before every tournament, I have to tie one on. And I really hate to admit this, but before the Bassmaster Classic, I really have to tie one on. And if you do what I did and tie one on from Strike King, maybe you'll get what I got, a classic hangover. Beckman nets are back, and that's going to make lots of fishermen very happy. Beckman nets are the best for both the fishermen and the fish. Beckman's coated nets are fish friendly to ensure the release of fish's safety. Beckman nets come in handle lengths up to nine feet, and the one-piece yoke is incredibly durable, while the quick connect channel allows for an ultra-fast connection of the handle to the yoke, and the features go on and on. If you need a new net, and if you don't have a Beckman, then you need a new net, check them out at participating fishing tackle dealers. Double hook set the one on the other side with you. I've seen you try it. Oh, here I've we seen go. you fail. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mike, Mike was directing airplanes in. Can I help you somehow? Which one do you want? Oh, come on. Uh, which one's bigger? They really truly did bite sim simultaneously, and uh, I set the hook. And you know the old saying, even a blind squirrel finds a nut once in a while. And got him? I got him. How was that one? Oh, this I, didn't, I didn't bring the net with me, by the way. We are going to need the net on this Okay, one. well, let me get this one back. Two nuts at one time, that doesn't happen very often. Yeah, I think this is technically a triple. 
I walked back to the third rod in the back of the boat, and that one had a fish on. It's about an 18, 19 inch rod back. Well, there's a lot of cool things about coming to Lakes Kakawea, but the opportunity to fish multiple to multiple lines, and you can come out here this time of the year when a lot of fisheries aren't going very well, and you catch a bunch of fish, and where else are you gonna have a double or a triple? Not very many places this time of the year. Look at this, <laughs> there must be four fish on the bottom right now, Mike. Is there really? Yeah, it feels like a better fish. Last time I said that, it was a pike, so. Okay, so I need a net. No, that's okay, I'll get it. You're busy. We're gonna leave you to. Ooh. I think he's gonna. One, I think he's gonna break the 18 inch mark, but I got one going here too. See? Are you gonna need my help? Um, I think so. I'm here. <laughs> Maybe. There we go. Look at there. Look at that one, sir. Boy, she's a toad. Look at the. Look how thick that fish is. Nothing wrong with a walleye like that in August. And this is one of a bunch. Lake Sakakawea in North Dakota has them. Indian Hills has got a great facility here. Kelly Joe works real hard. You want some ice cream, you go inside there and she'll hook you up. Indian Hills is located uh, west of Garrison. We're about 35 miles west of Garrison. Started with eight campsites and four condos and little cabins and, and it's grown to uh, over 100 campsites and nine cabins. And it's just kind of been a family affair. Bay is very nice. It's called Good Bear Bay. It's really nice and deep. And uh, you can get in out of the wind and it's very scenic and the campground kind of lays within that bay along the edges of the shoreline there. This is a good fish. Ooh, I'll come grab you. Yeah, why don't you? Why not? There, there's in, hard to beat the thrill of a big fish. Get used if it's those. a walleye, it's the right one. Yep. You fall like a tank. Oh, it's a nice walleye. Look at that one. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Wow. Jason, big fish boss. <laughs> I've been called a lot of things, Mike, but that's not one of them. <laughs> so tell me when you got them. I got them. It's a good yeah. one there. We've been talking to catching a lot of 18, 19, 20 inch fish. Haven't had that 22 inch mark for a while, so it was nice to get one of them. That's a great way to end it. Whoa! Last year in September, we were catching them in 65 feet. Kelly did a great job cooking the fish up. And again, we're at Indian Hills out in the wild, wild west, eating fish after a great day on the water. It's just a perfect finish to an excellent day. We encourage you to check out Fishing the Midwest on Facebook. From there, you can sign up for the new Fishing the Midwest's Real Times newsletter, where you can get entered to win Fishing the Midwest t-shirts, sweatshirts, and more. Plus, we'll keep you updated on all things Fishing the Midwest. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you again next time.